Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you to live your life in a way that affirms who you know yourself to be. As we go along our journey, there are many situations, uh, relationships, environments that we find ourselves in, and we can get lost in those circumstances. By getting lost, I, I only mean that we can get caught up in the structure of things outside of us, the rules, the games that others play, whether they know it or not. And we can get so lost in those things that we lose sense of ourselves because we're not connecting with ourselves. We're connecting or attempting to connect with something outside of us. But when we have those same circumstances, yet operate from within, but who we know ourselves to be and what we know to be true for ourselves, then that connection is built differently. The outside expression is displayed differently. And in doing so, the responses and the reactions are different. Now, it's not to say that many people will love it, honor it, respect it, welcome it. That's fine. But the goal is to stay connected to ourself and not lost in things outside of us. In a world that is consistently changing, whether it be at the minute level or the major level, the one thing that's always with us is ourselves. So we must move in that energy. We must trust in who we are. And going with the most recent post, uh, there was a, a comment that was a reminder to trust yourself 100%. Because just as a comment to state it, that is the only person that we, are that we have a chance of 100% knowing. And to me, that's such a beautiful thing because that, that God that is within each and every one of us, that divine spark, being able to connect and establish and build upon a relationship with that version, that true essence of ourselves, it allows us to enjoy this authentic experience that we call life. Stay true to it. And in doing so, it's not as if we find that one mode of being for the rest of our journey. No, we allow ourselves to peel back the layers to discover more and more about our rich inner lives and, and truly express that in the outside world. Now, once again, it's not, it's not that we'll be received in such a beautiful way that we see ourselves, and that's okay. But maybe, just maybe, it allows us to plant seeds for others. And if they choose to nurture it, then maybe they too can feel what you feel as you maneuver through your journey. So connect within. Find a peace with it, and with that peace, you will slowly but surely see that you might impact maybe one person. Just maybe. And that's a, that's a lovely thing in a world filled with so many distractions and so many different games and obstacles and rules and structures. Being able to plant that seed to allow somebody to be who they are just a little bit more. It can be life-changing. I could think back at times in my journey where somebody said the right thing at the right time. Somebody did the right thing at the right time, whether I liked it or not. And it propelled me in a direction that allowed me to course correct, that allowed me to find out more about myself. And in doing so, yes, there were some things I, I wasn't proud of. There were some things that I was proud of. But I was so critical of myself because I was playing the outside world's games that even when I had things I was proud of, I didn't hold on to it. I didn't cherish it. I didn't appreciate it. I wasn't as grateful for it because I was so focused on what I didn't like about myself. 
over time I became fed, more connected with those things that I did cherish about myself. I became more appreciative of those things that helped me along my way. And in doing so, it gave me a certain amount of grace to help nourish that sense of peace within self. But even more so, it made me more appreciative when I have certain instances or circumstances arise in which I'm able to lend that inner peace to my outside world and maybe help a stranger, maybe help a family member. It doesn't matter. But nourishing that sense of peace, that sense of understanding and being open to the layers being peeled back and getting the deeper understanding or more nuanced understanding of what brings myself peace. And possibly helping anyone outside of me connect with that peace within them a little bit more. It's not about what we're owed or what we deserve. It's simply about knowing that we all have the choice. No matter what we choose, it's not about good or bad, right or wrong. It's simply about being okay with the choices that we make for ourselves. And sometimes nobody's going to get it. More often than not, most people won't get it. That's fine. I think it's uh, Pareto's, if I'm saying it's not correctly, Pareto's principle. 20%. Twenty percent of the work accounts for the progress, and I may be butchering that. I don't know. Let me know. But it's simply about that little bit. It doesn't mean that we have to always be on point. It doesn't mean that we have to be perfect at execution. No, sometimes it's simply about being consistent with the understanding of who we are, and we don't know what seeds that we drop. The two out of the ten, the twenty out of the hundred the 200 out of 1,000. We don't know which seeds will be nourished, but living from a true expression of the divine light within us, planting those seeds and allowing somebody else the opportunity to nourish it within themselves. Maybe that's, maybe that's enough. Maybe it's not about being a, the best in everyone else's eyes, the most popular in everyone else's eyes. Maybe it's simply understanding that sharing the light that is within you with the outside world that is filled with many different forms and shades of darkness. Maybe just knowing that you contributed a seed of positivity, a seed of grace, a seed of peace. Maybe that's what truly matters. I don't know. Something to think about. Until next time, one of the most important things you could do is smile along the way. Have a good one.